In this video, we want to find the limit of x minus x to the 2 times ln of x plus 1 over x as x goes to infinity. If we plug in infinity for x, this limit is in the form of infinity minus infinity. But before I start finding this limit, I should mention that when x goes to infinity, x to the 2 times ln of x plus 1 over x is actually an indeterminate form because x to the 2 becomes infinity and ln of this expression when x goes to infinity is 0. So here, inside this limit, we have an indeterminate form infinity times 0, which we can prove it's infinity. But I am leaving this proof to the end of this video because maybe some of you are not interested to know why this part becomes infinity and you just wonder how to find this limit. So let's start finding this limit. To find this limit, first I factor x to the 2 from a square bracket. If I factor x2 from x, it becomes 1 over x and from x2 times ln of x plus 1 over x. If, if we factor x2, we have ln of x plus 1 over x. Now, to find this limit with L'Hopital's rule, I am moving x to the 2 to the bottom to make it like fraction. So we have limit x goes to infinity of in top we keep 1 over x minus ln of x plus 1 over x and we move x2 to the bottom and it becomes 1 over x to the 2 or x to the negative 2. Now we can use L'Hopital rule to find this limit. We have to take derivative of top and derivative of bottom separately. Derivative of bottom 1 over x2 is negative 2 over x to the 3. Because note that 1 over x2 is x to the negative 2. And derivative of that is negative 2 x to the negative 3, which is negative 2 over x to the 3. Derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x to the 2. Again, 1 over x means x to the negative 1, and derivative of x to the negative 1 is negative 1 x to the negative 2. And negative 1 over, and negative 1 times x to the negative 2 is negative 1 over x to the 2. And to find derivative of ln of x plus 1 over x, remember that derivative of ln of something is 1 over that thing. So derivative of ln of x plus 1 over x is 1 over the expression inside ln, which becomes 1 over x plus 1 over x, multiply it by derivative of inside. But what is derivative of inside? Let's find the derivative of inside here first. To find the derivative of x plus 1 over x, you can separate numerator by denominator and find the derivative of each separately. Or you can use quotient rule. Here I'm doing quotient rule. Based on quotient rule, we have to take the derivative of top, which is 1, times bottom, minus keep the top and multiply by derivative of bottom. Derivative of bottom is 1, multiply by top becomes x plus 1 all over bottom square. 1 times x is x minus x, they cancel each other, so it remains negative 1 over x to the 2. So derivative of x plus 1 over x is negative 1 over x 2. So here we have to multiply by negative 1 over x to the 2. If we simplify numerator, we have limit x goes to infinity of negative 1 over x2 minus 1 over x plus 1 over x means reciprocal of x plus 1 over x. So it equals negative x over x plus 1 multiplied by negative 1 over x to the 2 all over negative 2 over x to the 3 
Now, if we simplify x from top with x to the 2 from bottom, we have limit x goes to infinity of in top it becomes negative 1 over x2 plus note that we have a negative here multiplied by this negative it becomes plus because we cancelled x from top with x to the 2 from bottom top we have only 1 and in bottom we have x bracket x plus 1 now if we do a common denominator between negative 1 over x to the 2 and 1 over x times x plus 1 the common denominator is x to the 2 times x plus 1 and in numerator we have negative x minus 1 note that this negative will multiply it by x plus 1 so we have negative x minus 1 and in top of second fraction we have plus x all over negative 2 over x to the 3. Negative x plus x cancel each other and if we divide negative 1 over x to the 2 times x plus 1 by negative 2 over x to the 3 we have limit x goes to infinity of negative 1 over x to the 2 times x plus 1 multiplied by reciprocal of denominator which is x to the 3 over negative 2. Now here if you cancel negative with negative and simplify x to the 3 from top with x to the 2 from bottom one x remains in top so we have limit of x in top and in bottom we have a 2 times this bracket 2 times bracket x plus 1 and x goes to infinity to find this limit you can use rules of limit at infinity but if you prefer to continue only with L'Hopital's rule if we take derivative of top and with the derivative of bottom we get the value of the limit derivative of top is just 1 derivative of bottom is 2. Note that we have 2x which derivative becomes 2 and derivative of constant 2 is 0. So the value of the limit equals 1 over 2. Now let me show you why limit of x to the 2 times ln of x plus 1 over x as x goes to infinity is infinity. So we want to prove that limit of x2 ln of x plus 1 over x as x goes to infinity is infinity. Why this is true? Note that because x goes to infinity we have infinity squared which is infinity but this ln here as x goes to infinity is 0. So we have indeterminate form infinity times zero now maybe you ask yourself why ln of x plus one over x as x goes to infinity is zero because note that x goes to infinity between x and one x is dominant term so we can ignore one comparing infinity and one one is nothing x over x is one and ln of one is zero so anyway we have infinity times zero an infinity of time zero is not necessarily infinity. We want to prove why it is infinity in this case. We keep ln of x plus one over x in top and we move x two to the bottom. With L'Hopital rule, derivative of one over x two is negative 2 over x to the 3 and derivative of ln of x plus 1 over x as we did before is x plus 1 over x times negative 1 over x 2. Now if we multiply top by top and bottom by bottom we have limit 
x goes to infinity of in top we have negative x minus 1 over x to the 3 all over negative 2 over x to the 3 and then we have limit negative x minus 1 over x to the 3 times by reciprocal of denominator which is x to the 3 over negative 2 if we cancel x to the 3 from top with x to the 3 from bottom and if we cancel this negative with these negatives in top we have limit x goes to infinity of x plus 1 over 2 because x goes to infinity we have infinity plus 1 which is infinity divided by 2 equals infinity so we prove that limit of x to the 2 times ln of x plus 1 over x as x goes to infinity is infinity i hope you enjoyed this example